Hello, I got a happy ending story, but it starts with pain. Pain such as when you get cut with paper and it's like super annoying until it heals. Well, that's a paper cut. And in Blender and in any other software, there is always these little annoyances like here and there that sometimes you just live with it, but in Blender we can fix them. So we asked the community to uh, contribute these little annoyances on a thread in the user feedback um, section of the DevTalk forums. So if you go to user feedback, you'll find a thread called Paper Cuts. And one of these many paper cuts, for example, this one uh, that was uh, posted by John Lappel, he says, ah, Blender, where cubes have radius and spheres have size. It's a comment from uh, Reddit, apparently. And yeah, it's, uh, it's a little annoyances that it doesn't really change much when you're working uh, like with the spheres and cubes. But yes, in uh, it happened that previously with in Blender, you would, for example, add a cube and it will have a radius and you will add a sphere and it will have, you add a sphere and you will have the size. So size for a sphere and a radius for a cube. But that's one of, that's what it, re, it means, uh, this uh, little paper cut. So uh, we went through the list, especially William went through all the lists here and some of them, they became tasks in the developer uh, play, portal basically, so it can be tackled one by one. So this task was here for the sphere primitive, rename size to radius. This was posted here and then um, someone picked it up, it was discussed here and then some of the community picked it up until Nathan actually is like, I'm willing to give this a shot like two days ago in the 13. And we, after some discussion actually became a patch and this patch became a little discussion together with Campbell and Campbell applied it with a few minor tweaks here and there, but is there. Now it's the change is done and Nathan very nicely uh, tweeted about it. So I thought this was such a nice happy ending. Two days ago, it was a patch. Now it's actual Blender. So if you compile the latest and greatest Blender, you will see that if you add a mesh, a sphere, now it has a radius and if you add a cube, it has a size. It's such a tiny thing. It says like, I, it, I think it, will, it, it deserves a video because of the nice happy ending that it started as like, isn't very annoying, a comment on Reddit, then it went to the dev talk, then it went to developer uh, blog, then it became a patch. Now uh, it's part of Blender for everybody to enjoy. Yes, it's very small, but at the same time, it's very big. This is what makes Blender great, that the community can help and, and contribute and they get feedback from the developers that are working in the core parts of Blender. So you also get to learn and uh, it's, uh, isn't it nice? So thank you, Nathan, for this. Now your credits are part of uh, Blender 2.8. So yes. I don't know, it's just a, a happy ending story. So please contribute if you feel like uh, learning some, some Blender code, go to the paper cuts thread. If you have uh, little annoyances, you can post them here. If they uh, can become patches, you can submit it on the developer portal and we all benefit. So if you wanna try the latest uh, Blender builds, remember now there is a, actually I made a, a website for that, blender.org, a website. Uh, URL, blender.org slash experimental, and then it will go to builder. It's just a redirect, but it's a nice, uh, faster way to find this website where with the new layout, you can now easily find the build that you're, uh, for your operating system. You can also, of course, just change it and it should be more clear now. And there is a bigger, big button to see how you can support Blender and help the uh, make Blender 2.8 more stable, new features, documentation, and everything that comes with the development. And you can also find the videos, this kind of stuff that I'm making. So anyway, a short one. Uh, thank you for watching and I will see you again in the next video. Ciao.